Right guys, um, skipped a little bit, but basically the bit you've missed is removal of the front subframe um, and then the reinstallation of uh, the front part of the jig. And the reason I've done that <clears throat> is so we can now get inside between the, uh, the inner wing and the front panel just to make that the spot welds there. Couldn't do it with the front subframe fitted, you see. Let's turn the car over. Important thing, make sure you uh, tie the front of the bonnet so it can't flick open because you can't have it on a catch because this is in the way. Should be able to turn the car. Right then, so she's upside down now. You'll see what I mean here. So making the spot welds across here and onto here before the subframe was there. I couldn't get the spot welder in. Also, it's going to make it a lot easier now to um, try and get some welds on here because I've only got I've only got a couple in here, and the rest of it still um, she's got clamps on it. You see. Same on the other side over here. So in there, we've got a few spot welds in. Obviously holding it in place, we've got a load of clamps on. Um, but yeah, making this good should be a lot easier with the spot welder now. So uh, we'll crack on and do some of that. Hi guys, I think I've got to the end of welding in this front end, wings, front panel, scuttle panel, A panels etc. Um, just using this to take off the uh, tape that I got for the alignment and then um, there's a few little bits of weld that need grinding back just to tidy up. Right guys, I had to get into the boot and um, tidy up some of the welding from the inside. Couldn't get to because this frame's all in the way. So what we're going to do is um, put under the support that we used at the front of the car and we're going to take this part of the jig out. Before I go any further, I'm just going to get a ratchet round because I'm on my own. and. Um, I need time to make sure it won't fall too far if it does fall. So let's just get a ratchet strap on the go. Right, we've got ratchet in there. So now I'll undo these bolts a bit more. Out, I did have a big enough socket, 24 mil. So I'm just winding the bolt out of that hole there. As soon as that bolt comes out, it should fall. So do my best to hold it whilst that bolt gets undone. It's 
see what happens. about to go. So yeah, I think we're down. No tension on that. It must be on the block. Pretty sturdy on the block. Just take a look. Okay, so the block's not quite level. Wants to be slightly high. But I don't think we're doing anything level critical. That looks good to me. We'll get on with taking this out. But um, it is actually welded in here. <coughs> so I'll have to grind the welds out of it. Anyway, the theory was sound. Obviously worried that things can't go wrong. I've got my phone with me. And the wife's not too far away. Okay, here we are in the boot. We need to just tidy up a bit in here. So, I'm gonna just tidy up around the battery box where um, we did the repairs before. We're also gonna uh, re-seam this weld along here because it was very thin and penetration hasn't been brilliant through from the other sides. It's one of the first welds I did, so I'm just gonna make that nice and tidy and um, yeah just anywhere else in here generally tidy up make it look a bit more presentable so first thing is to get the flat disc out and just uh, clean back also need to just drill this hole out slightly larger tidy that up um, ready for the uh, bolt that goes through there for the earthing strap see how we get on Okay, so that's this weld done again from the inside. Hopefully we can see that that's looking much better. We'll get some paint on here in a minute. Just need to get rid of some of this, uh, some of this grinding. So I also welded up four holes that used to hold an amp on the back there. Don't need those anymore. We'll tidy that round there. Just tidied this up slightly. So we'll get some paint on there. And um, finish the welding here on this join. I couldn't get to. And the same over there. Right, quick chat about numbers. Um, specifically the chassis number of this car. If you remember, the scuttle panel has been completely changed. Now, 
there is stamping in the scuttle panel here here well actually that part there that has the chassis number in obviously I've put a new scuttle in I'm not keeping that rusty panel so the question then is do you try and stamp the new panel that probably looks really bad if anyone looks at it it's not original they think you tried to ring the car so the next option is cut the numbers out and weld them into the scuttle again in my opinion that looks bad that looks like someone has swapped numbers from another car so what I've decided to do is cut the numbers out they're on here um, you can see the back of it the stamping marks there so I'm going to mount this in the boot and that means that we can maintain the numbers with the car but obviously without it looking like we're trying to fake the previous car obviously there's loads of footage of me working on this car so there's no chance that you know um, if someone wants to challenge you in the future that it's a ringer then there's loads of documentation so out of the old scuttle I'm thinking we're going to fit it in the boot and initially I'm thinking of fitting it up here or possibly there on top of the nuts somewhere um, that it's easily visible if uh, it's easy to remove if someone wants to take it out um, so yeah that's my solution some of you might think that's a totally wrong thing to do probably a bit unorthodox but I think the other options are equally bad if not worse and look like you're trying to um, swap numbers from other cars so this is what I'm doing all right let's get on with it okay there we have it tacked in it's not going anywhere um, you might wonder why I've left the uh, front sticking up like that well the reason I've done that is so it's obvious that it's cut out of a scuttle panel anyway I'm happy that that can stay in there well out of the way be hidden behind the spare wheel and everything so I shall leave it like that Okay, here she is then guys. Hopefully passable. Obviously we saved a few hundred pounds by uh, not putting in a complete new boot floor. Had to save money somewhere unfortunately. Anyway, thanks for watching everyone and uh, we'll catch you on the next bit. Thanks, bye.